Hi friends, I love kindness, but I had an experience the other day that almost had me totally unglued uh, when it comes to kindness. I was at an event that was set up kind of like a wedding where there was, it was a dinner theater and it was um, tables. And so I had a group of girlfriends I was there with, so we kind of staked out our table. And uh, then a man came and he sat down at the table with his wife and he started um, just introducing himself, saying, hi, how are you? And, and we were all having a really great time. Well, at some point he looks across the table and he said, I'm sitting here with all of these, these neat women, let's find out about you. And he said, so what is it that you do? Asking the woman across the table from him. And she said, um, I, and he stopped and he said, never start a sentence with the word, um, and so we we're all kind of jolted a little bit and she went on and finished what she was saying. And then it was the next woman's turn. And he said, what do you do? And she said, I work at the university and, um, I, and he said, never use the word, um, you sound stupid when you use the word, um. So, okay, so my heart is starting to beat uh, pretty fast. <laughs> I'm kind of like a mama bear with my friends, and uh, two of my friends had just been totally dissed by this guy, and he was freaking me out, and he was sitting right next to me. So we get to the third woman, and he said, what do you do? And she talked about how she worked with uh, children in our area who um, are neglected or abused, things like that, and, and at some point she gestured and she pointed. And he slammed his hand down and he said, do not point at me when you're speaking. <laughs> at this point, I start praying. God, help me. 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 And I don't even know if I was asking God to help me not to use the word um or to point or if I was asking for God to put new words in my mouth so I didn't strangle this man that I was sitting next to. Well, uh, God did help me because... It was my turn and the gentleman turned and he looked at me and he said, what about you? What do you do? And I said, I'm a writer. And I, um, I said the word, um, and the man looked at me, his fierce look, his face just inches from mine. And he said, never use the word, um, and I looked at him and I said, Oh, sir, you have to understand all of us women here are completely intimidated by you because you are so good looking and, and you just have a, a powerful demeanor about you. So how could we not uh, use words like um or, you know, perhaps point because we're just, we just can't think around you. Uh, someone just is as um, powerful and stately as you. And the man's whole demeanor changed. He kind of stopped and he thought and his chest swelled up a little bit and, and he looked at me and he said, I like you. You're good. And all of a sudden it was okay. It was okay for all of us and nobody had to fight and nobody had to be right and nobody had to make a point of letting this guy know that he was completely inappropriate in this setting. And, um, uh, you know, kindness can do that, and that's why I love kindness. But sometimes I, um, I run away with my thoughts, and I let my emotions, those that, that bubbling up inside that wanted to come spewing out in a venom toward this man, sometimes that wins, but sometimes it doesn't. And the times that it doesn't are those times when I pause, and I remember I don't have to say anything, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to give the Holy Spirit time to intervene, and I'm just going to wait and see if the right words come when my heart's in the right spot. And so that's what I would urge you to do, because you know what? We all run across people probably every day, maybe multiple times a day, that absolutely annoy us. They drive us crazy. They make us mad, and sometimes they do it intentionally. And so today, my word for you, aside from kindness, is pause. Just pause and see how far that takes you.